Roman. Meanwhile, there's the big speaker fight, and it turns out that um, Obama is supporting, of course, Paul Ryan. We do not need another neocon rhino uh, controller in there. And we've got Jeb Bush planting staffers in attendance to try to bring down Trump. And the reason I add these stories to the end of this whole thing about the mystery of the trucks that is no mystery is it just shows how rigged everything is in the establishment. And if we wake up to the rigging of this and don't act like inept, illiterate morons politically, geopolitically, it's over. So there is no mystery to the Toyotas. There is no mystery about al Nusra. There is no mystery about Islamic State, ISIS, ISIL. They play on the public's ignorance to confuse people. The U.S. military, the CIA, defense intelligence, the FBI, everybody knows what's going on here. And most people don't like it. To the credit of the government. And they're saying, American people, stand up, do something. We need you to speak out. We need the press to speak out and talk about it. But ABC News, everybody's like, gee, where'd the trucks come from? We don't know. We gave them to the nice rebels, Al Nusra, and now they're in ISIS's hands. And clearly some of the trucks came from other places too that Saudi Arabia bought and gave them. So they're confusing the public. Saudi Arabia bought a multi shiploads from Japan. So there's, there's different groups, but a bunch of them came from Texas. And we just gave you all the proof right there. This is sensational. And what's old news is new news. We know this. The general public doesn't know it. So now someone in the Pentagon, someone in the Treasury Department, they've all been saying this, say, look at where the trucks came from. Look at where the trucks came from. We should look at where the trucks came from because we know where the trucks came from. All right, I'm going to throw this back over to Paul Joseph Watson, transmitting and broadcasting worldwide. And I'll be back in the saddle, Lord willing, tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, right here at the tip of the spear, InfoWars.com, InfoWars Live, and InfoWars Nightly News. If you're watching this transmission or listening to it, get out there and spread the word because you are the resistance. You are the victory. You are the answer. Pray to God to lead God and direct you, and you're unstoppable. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv and listen to The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on in your mind. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. If the elite are ruthless, they may simply decide to exterminate the mass of humanity. If they are humane, they may use propaganda or other psychological or biological techniques to reduce the birth rate until the mass of humanity becomes extinct, leaving the world to the elite. In April of 2000, Wired Magazine published an article, Why the Future Doesn't Need Us. What makes this article, in quote, even more interesting is the footnote at the bottom of the article. Why would tech industry leaders go out of their way to quote Ted Kaczynski's Unabomber Manifesto in not one, but two separate publications? As experimenters have demonstrated, feelings such as hunger, pleasure, anger, and fear can be turned on and off by electrical stimulation of appropriate parts of the brain. Brainwashing and mind-reading devices seem like something directly out of a fictional novel. Robots, cyborgs, and life extension technology. Now, to some disbelief, these technologies are a science reality. Secretary of Energy O'Leary during the Clinton administration admitted over a half a million Americans were used as experimental guinea pigs. But of course, our medical research is focused on the diseases and disabilities of old age. All these new um, things that are now at the forefront of technology and philosophy, and, and which is, um, you know, combined, we find it in transhumanism. Many feel that technology will advance, and there's not much anyone can do to prevent that, so what's the point? But is this really the world we want to live in? Is there another way? Hundreds of thousands of people marched in Berlin on Saturday to protest the TTIP. Now, this is another part of that trifecta of secret trade deals. And these included environmental, environmental groups, charities, and opposition parties. They organized this protest. They said about 250,000 people showed up. Uh, a police spokesman said it was just 100,000 people, but that's a lot of people here protesting the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, which is going to create the world's largest free trade zone. It'll encompass some 800 million consumers in areas ranging from food safety, uh, environmental rules, banking regulations. Now, the, the European Commission is saying that uh, TTIP could boost the size of the EU economy as well as the U.S. economy, but opposition has been escalating saying that this is giving too much power to multinational companies at the expense of consumers and workers, which is exactly what we have been arguing as well. Of course, this has all been negotiated in, in secret, and people don't really know what's going uh, into this trade deal other than what's been released by WikiLeaks. Now, they are protesting this. This is so important to them that hundreds of thousands of people are out there protesting. They're not protesting the fact that all of these migrants and are being flooded into their country and they are being forced to pay for that. Okay, that is a huge thing, but no, they're protesting the TTIP. Now, 20 migrants, 20 of these migrants have actually gone and sued Germany. They're suing the Berlin uh, Office there of Health and Social Affairs, saying it took too long for us to get our welfare payments. So 20 people got together and now they are suing Germany for taking a little too long on their handouts. And that's this entitlement society uh, now. But, you know, the Germans are not protesting against that. They're not protesting against the fact that German schools are forcing kids to clean up after these migrants. They're calling this a uh, work experience project. The kids are being made to cook, clean and change beds at a special asylum center. Uh, centers that are being set up throughout Germany. Of course, parents are outraged, and this is authentic. This is an authentic letter that was sent out to uh, eighth graders, preparing eighth graders for practical work experience, taking care of migrants. And of course, as we reported, German schools last month have ordered girls not to wear short skirts um, so they don't offend anyone or provoke any sexual assaults. So the Germans are not protesting that. They are protesting the TPP, the TTIP, that is important to them. 
Why are hundreds of thousands of Americans not protesting this? This is a big deal, and this is going to affect all of us. But there is virtually a media blackout on what this is going to mean for our country going forward. Why is that? Well, in addition to the media blackout, Americans, the only thing that we produce are selfies. They're so obsessed with these selfies now, and all of this social media, which Matt Drudge has, has accurately called these little ghettos of the internet that people are being corralled into, and they're being told what to care about and told what to think is important. People are actually getting plastic surgery now, so they'll look better in their selfies because this is what we produce. Now, granted, this is not <laughs> being negotiated in the uh, TTP, but it might as well be because this is people's net worth now, their selfies. Also, here's another article out of the New York Times. Compulsive texting is taking its toll on teenagers. And you know what? It's taking its toll on plenty of adults as well. I see so many relationships being ruined by people who can't even carry on a conversation with each other. But now this is our future. We got the selfie takers and the people who text so much that it's affecting their tension spans. They can't learn in school. Uh, they've got lower academic performance. Um, they snap if you interrupt them. So it's causing all these behavioral problems. And then I just had to put this article in there because it just made me so darn furious. This is another reason why no Americans are out there protesting one of the biggest trade deals that's being negotiated in secret on behalf of multinational corporations and your future is hanging in the balance. But people are actually paying thousands of dollars to go get pickup artist lessons from some total D-bags. And this is what is wrong with the world. Scroll down, I want you to look at the picture of the guy with the pink hair, okay? This is the leader. This is who people are paying thousands of dollars to teach them how to pick up women. This guy brags that he's made out, there he is. That is who is the leader, the new hero of the men of the world. And he's bragging to these men, you know, just take his pickup artist lessons. He's made out with 230 women in one year alone. 27 of those were porn stars. Oh, yay. So there he is. Gosh, what a stud. This is the future of the men in this country. This is who they are getting their lessons from on how to interact with women, how to dress. I mean, that's just so attractive to me. Pink mohawks and leather pants on 50-something-year-old men who aren't even rock stars. Um, so you know what? <laughs> is it a wonder why the elite really aren't worried about bringing us in on their plans and are planning on wiping us all out? Because we just sit there and we let them and we don't even care about it. But never fear, 34 super rich families are set to survive the apocalypse because they are setting themselves up with doomsday bunkers because they know what's gonna happen. They know absolutely what's going to happen. We're all just gonna sit around idly by watching the greatest show on earth. It's coming right up after this break. We're gonna see who our next leader is gonna be on the left. Will it be the left or the right? Oh, I don't even know. It's all the same old thing. Now our coverage is coming right up. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host for this fourth hour, the news wrap up. And we're going to talk a little bit about what's coming up tonight, the Democrat debate. Of course, we're going to be covering that live as part of the nightly news. That'll begin at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's when our news broadcast begins. The debate will begin about a half hour into that broadcast. So we're going to pick it up, cover it live like we did during the money bomb. We're going to have uh, live comments. You'll also be able to contact us via Twitter, hashtag DemDebate, D-E-M Debate. D -E -M debate. Uh, you'll be able to send us your questions, your comments, and we're going to take a look at it because, you know, it's interesting to see how CNN is talking about how differently they're going to cover this debate than they did the GOP debate. CNN, uh, Anderson Cooper will be the moderator this time. They had Jake Tapper moderate the last GOP debate, which was on CNN. Anderson Cooper says he's not going to try to mix this up and pit one candidate against another. Well, we are. We're going to pit them against their records. We're going to pit them against themselves, essentially, as well as against each other. I think it might be more interesting than people think. I don't think Bernie Sanders is going to rock the boat, and I think Hillary Clinton is going to play it pretty safe unless somebody gets her mad. But I think that you've got uh, three candidates there, two of them especially, Webb and O'Malley, who are pretty intelligent. I think they will come out swinging because they realize that from a horse race standpoint, this is essential for their survival. 
We had a DNC officer say she was disinvited from this particular debate because she had asked for more of them. They're only going to have six Democrats.